Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the complete Amok Drummer 5.0 flat lay hammock system. So let's get right into it. Okay, so to get things started, we do have three separate products. Here I have the Amok Drummer Hammock 5.0, just the hammock right in here. I also have the Amok this is the Shoal 10 tarp. So this is the camouflage tarp to match my camouflage Amok 5.0. And then we have the fuel insulated sleeping pad. So this is not the winter light. This is still a very good pad, but what I want to do is lay all of these out one at a time on the table to show you what each individual item comes with. And then I'll cover all the tech specs and then we'll move into setting up the hammock, the pad and the tarp and then the whole system. So let's start off with the hammock itself. So I'll move the pad and the tarp out of the way. The Amok Drummer 5.0, my current version in camouflage, does come with a kind of an interesting stuff sack. So it does have these straps on the side where you can actually compress it all the way down to get quite a nice size and form factor. Opening up the stuff sack is very simple. Drop that strap out of the way, open the toggle, and then we've got the entire hammock. Now this is a very unique hammock where it is a flat lay hammock. However, it does not pitch head to toe going towards the trees that you're laying in. It actually pitches perpendicular, so it goes the opposite direction. Very interesting system. The straps are already pre-attached to the hammock. So we have one for the left side, we have one strap for the right side. All the connectors and everything you need to set this hammock up in the tree is right here. So that is basically all that is in the hammock bag. It is literally the entire hammock. One piece, very easy to take out, very easy to set up and hang in the trees, which I'm gonna show you later in the video. So that is the stuff sack right there. That is the Amok Drummer 5.0 hammock body. Now we'll move in to the tarp. Opening up, this is the Shoal 10 tarp. This is in camouflage and it is a beautiful beautiful tarp i love this so in this bag we do have the tarp itself the tarp is loaded full of adjusters and guy line already pre-attached now this is not a seam sealed tarp so you do have to brush on seam sealant however it only has one seam one long seam making this absolutely easy so Guy outs are all over the tarp. We will cover this a little later on during the setup process, of course. Now inside of the bag, it has a built-in pocket, which I find is very clever. And opening that up grants access to all of the stakes. Now these are all aluminum. They're branded Amok. They're V stakes. These things are very, very strong, very nice. They're not too heavy either, but I, I like them. They're bright blue. They're gonna stand out when you put them in the ground. They're gonna be easy to find, easy to retrieve. So we do have one, two, three, four, five. We have six pegs in total, and that is it for the tarp. And of course the seam sealant, which I've already applied, comes with the tarp as well as a tiny brush. Pushing that off to the side, we then come into the sleeping pad. Now mine is the Fuel LW inflatable sleeping pad. It is not the winter light, so if you're looking for more of a winter pad, you should go that route. I'm just gonna open this briefly just to show you guys. So the pad is in there, a repair kit is in there, and then we have the stuff sack. And then we also have this giant schnozzle pump sack. So this makes it very quickly to pump this up. You can get a lot of air in here, snap that on, inflate the pad very quickly. So that is all that is included in each individual item. Now let's talk about the specs. Okay guys, so let's get these specs out of the way really quickly. We do have three separate products, so we do have a fair bit of specs to cover. Starting with the tarp. Now this is a Shoal tarp. It is available in many different colors. You could check that out on Amox website. This is the camouflage version to match my hammock. I'm gonna cover the specs for that. So the dimensions are 380 by 300 centimeters, also known as 148 inches by 118 inches. It is approximately 10 square meters of coverage, which is a very nice tarp. The weight is, including the tarp stakes, is 655 grams or one pound seven ounces. So that's including all six stakes. Without those stakes, the tarp is 590 grams or one pound five ounces. The materials of the tarp are 40D DRS nylon silicone on both sides, 3000 millimeter 
hydrostatic head. So that's the reason why it is not seam taped. You do have to brush on the seam sealant as it will not stick to that fabric. Moving down, uh, guy line material is a 2.5 millimeter polyester cord with reflective tracer. So they do have reflective guy outlines in there, which is very nice. And as I mentioned earlier, all of the corners, all the guy out points have adjusters built onto it with the cordage and a nice piece of Velcro there to keep everything bound up when you do pack it away. Uh, I do believe that is it for the, oh, the reinforcement fabric. So in the corners, there is a reinforced fabric. That fabric type is a hypalon fabric with holes and tarp in the corner. So I'm not sure what that means. We're going to cover that a little later. I'm just reading off their specs on their website. Uh, that is basically it for the basic uh, specs on the tarp. Now let's talk about the sleeping pad right here. The dimensions of this are 198 by 63 by 9 centimeters, fair size for a pad, 946 grams, and it has an R value of 3, which is recommended by Amok for negative 4 degrees Celsius. This is not the winter light. If you want to go to the winter light, totally different specs, totally different temperature range as well. The fabric, the top fabric on this is a 75D polyester hexagonal ripstop anti-slip fabric, and it is anti-slip, which is very, very important in this style of hammock, and we'll touch on that in a little bit. The bottom is a 75D polyester as well. The pump sack is a 20D ripstop nylon. The stuff sack is a polyester hexagonal ripstop. The insulation type is synthetic. It says 80 grams per square meter. And the R value, as I mentioned, is three, negative four degrees Celsius, which is also known as 25 degrees Fahrenheit. There are two dimensions in this. I have the regular size. The regular size is, or sorry, the long size, 198 by 63 by nine centimeters, which is also 75 inches by 25 inches by 3.5 inches. It is also available in an extra long. And those dimensions are, where am I at? <laughs> uh, 220 centimeters by 63 centimeters by nine centimeters, 87 inches, 25 inches by 3.5 inches. So those are the dimensions for both sizes. The weight for both sizes, the long wide is 946 grams, two pounds, one ounce, which is what I have right here. And then the extra large is 1,052 grams, also known as 2.5 ounces. That's a lot to cover. Now let's talk about the specs on the hammock. We'll go through this really quick. So just the hammock body. It is saying that the main fabric is a 70D nylon ripstop HD. The bug net fabric is an ammo light 20, which is absolutely insane i love this bug net very 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 cool stuff it's basically a ripstop nylon material turned into a mesh which is really awesome i love that the reinforced fabric at the foot end is 100d nylon the weight of the hammock with the bug net is two pounds 13 ounces also known as 1285 grams the capacity the weight bearing limit is 180 kilograms also known as 400 pounds the pack size is 22 centimeters by 16 centimeters, also known as 9 inches by 6 inches. The suspension straps are 290 centimeters, also known as 114 inches in length. That is a lot of specs to cover. So I hope that was helpful. If you guys do need to look at different specs for different sizes or a little bit more clarification, go on over to Amox website and you can have a full list of specs and all kinds of stuff there. So. Now that we've covered that, let's get this hammock and let's get it hung in between two trees and then we'll do the pad and then we'll add the tarp one at a time. So let's go do that. Okay guys, so setting up the Amok hammock, I do have additional tree straps attached to the Amok straps because the span of trees is too great for this hammock that I have picked out here today. So I did attach additional straps. This is an option that you guys can do or find trees closer. There is a port and a starboard side. It is labeled with red and green. You have to orientate that proper for foot end and head end. We then have these metal buckles, very simple. You just simply pass it through and that is it. Go to the other side, pass that one through. Once you get that passed through, you can then dial in the strap simply by pulling on it and that will lift the hammock and raise the hammock to your desired height. To loosen it off, you simply loosen off the buckle and it comes out so it's a very very fast suspension kit uh, it's it's a treat to set up it's very quick to set up and adjust so i'm going to get it up off the ground and then we'll start on the sleeping pad and we'll pop that in there to give the hammock its form 
All right, guys, coming in close here, we see that we have the starboard side of the hammock. We've got this metal ring right here. I'm gonna take this buckle, pass it through the bottom of that ring and secure it nice and tight just like that. That is how you connect the suspension to the hammock. Once you've got the amok strung up such as this way, you wanna make sure that your ridge is running level. You don't want one side higher than the other. This is essentially pitching your head end and your foot end on a typical hammock. However, our head end and our foot end is gonna go this way, not this way. So this has to be level. At this point, what I like to do is get out the, the sleeping pad, basically. We're just gonna drape this over top of the ridge. That's the patch kit. We've got the pump sack, everything there. So I just simply flop it over, find where the valve is, connect the pump sack to the valve, start inflating, and then we're gonna insert it inside of the hammock body. Alright guys, so once we've got the sleeping pad inflated, got to unzip the hammock body just halfway, granting access to the foot end of the hammock to this little pocket right down below. There is a zipper to open this pocket up and to zip it shut. This is where the sleeping pad is going to go in. It's a very simple process. Pop it in there all the way underneath of this flap and then zip it shut and that'll give the form to the hammock. All right, so now that I have the sleeping pad inside of the amok and it is pitched up a little bit higher now, I do have a stick to go in the foot end. There are pockets underneath and on the top and amok actually offers an aluminum pole that goes inside of here. If you do not purchase the pole kit, that's totally fine. You could just make a stick. Now I mark mine from my elbow to my fingertip and it seems to be the perfect length. So I'm just gonna slip that in the pocket underneath, slip it in the pocket, in the front and now you have a pole that gives full body to the hammock on the foot end as well as the head end i placed the stick in there so that is basically the entire construction of the hammock body i have half the bug net open right here the bug net is totally removable if i unzip all the way around and it can be stowed inside of a pocket on the left side of the amok which is an identical size pocket to the pocket on the right side the hammock is loaded full of features we have a bottle holder right here we have a little phone holder pocket on the side, as well as another phone pocket holder on the other side and an up top kind of storage area shelf. We then have an overhead ridge line pocket with an adjustable shock cord to help keep this bug net off of your head when you're inside of it. So I'm gonna jump in and show you guys what it looks like on the inside from afar. So before I jump in the amok, I should probably show you how to get in. There are many different ways to get in. This is pitched a little bit higher for this video purpose. Generally, you want to pitch it a little bit lower or however high you're comfortable getting in and out of the amok. So basically the way to get in or the way I like to get in is use these handles on the inside of the hammock body. There's one on the left, one on the right. And what I like to do is position my back to grab that handle, reach over to the other side and just hop in basically. So I'm just going to kind of fall back and hop in. Now, like I said, these tree straps are lengthened, so there's a lot of stretch in this today that there should not be normally. So it did go down quite a bit. Once I'm in the amok, I can then move into a flat laying position, or I can tension these straps and go up into chair mode, making it very comfortable for laying or sitting. Okay, guys, so here I am inside of the amok. This is in flat lay mode. I got a nice rocking motion. This does stop, but I actually like it when it's rocking back and forth. It totally mellows out once you're actually in and just give it a couple seconds. This is in flat lay mode, so if I stretch out, I can go totally flat inside. You can lay on your side, your stomach, or your back. And when you're ready to sit up in chair mode, you simply reach over to the sides. There are straps built into the hammock, and you just crank them nice and tight. So I'm gonna pull these tight. That'll sit my back end up. And then if I pull these straps in, that'll create a leg dip. So you have an option if you want your legs straight out sitting or you want bent knees while you're sitting. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of knee bend. Lift that up, crank that in a little tighter. Right till you find that kind of nice mellow kind of lay. And then I'm gonna pull these in a little bit tighter again. 
and now I'm totally setting up. And now I can reach up here to this little shock cord, which holds the bug net up off my head. I could take the rest of the shock cord and tuck it inside of the little pocket up top, which is a nice little ridge line pocket. And I'm comfortably sitting in a hammock. Now I can sit here and I can kind of eat my food. I can have a drink. I can look at whatever I'm looking at if I'm at a lake or an ocean side. I've got pockets in here. This pocket here is large enough to fit a bottle, an Nalgene bottle in. So we've got gear pockets up top. I can put my clothing, my sleeping bag, anything that I need I can put in the hammock instead of having to get in and out. I even got little pockets down here. So if I want to store a phone or keys or whatever, you could stow. You can even hang headlamps and flashlights up on the ridge line. Very, very nice hammock system. So like I said, this is chair mode, just lounging nicely. When it's ready to go to bed and you want to zip this shut, obviously, all you got to do, zip your bug nut closure shut if it's on. If you don't want it on, leave it off. But when you're ready to go to bed, simply loosen these straps and fall back in to bed mode. Loosen the, the back, loosen the legs, scooch back. And now we are in flat lay mode again, very simple, very quick. So here's an up close look at the right side of the hammock. So this would be on your starboard side when you're inside. Here we have the strap system for tightening up the legs. It's just a simple pull to raise the leg, loosen that off when weight is applied, it comes right off. Here we have that Nalgene pocket, which is very good for pop bottles, Nalgene bottles, whatever you need to store inside of there. Currently I have a guy line, but you can store whatever you need to put in there, flashlight even, and it works really well. We have that pocket down here for cell phones or other pieces of gear. We then have the strap for the head end up here, turning it into a flat lay mode or non-flat lay mode. And then we have the gear nest up here, which is a very nice little pocket to put all kinds of clothing, all kinds of heavy gear, food bag, whatever you need up there. And then of course we have the zipper to detach the entire bug net, which I'll show you right now. So if you wish to detach the bug net on the Amok Drummer 5.0, simply go all the way around the hammock, loosening the zipper, and then push it all the way over to the side. You wanna make sure that your shock cord for your ridge is disconnected push it all the way off to the side and then you can take the bug net and jam it up inside of this little attic pocket which also has a shock cord to help keep it in there and then you guys can see the hammock system itself this is with the stick out of the head end it actually fell out so I'm just gonna place it back in so this is what it looks like without any kind of support this is how it'll come without the pull sections here I have my stick I'm just gonna slide it back into the pocket and pop it into the pocket here. And that's what it looks like with the pole kit. So I highly recommend getting the pole kit because this will give you a nice 3D shape all the way around. And here we have an open style hammock. You can sleep like this in the winter time if you don't have any bugs or anything like that. And the summertime, throw the bug net on just to stay out of mosquitoes and whatnot. But this is, offers a lot of room inside of the hammock for all kinds of gear storage. All right, so now that we've taken a pretty brief look at the hammock and the functions and a little bit of details about it, there is one other detail I do want to cover and I'll show that to you in one moment. But I do want to get the rain fly on. So the way this rain fly hangs is it's kind of unique because you can use this with a regular hammock. So if I was sleeping tree to tree, head to toe, you can rig this up by spinning it. And what I mean by spinning it is using the head end and the foot end tie out points to the tree. Today we're actually going to pitch it properly so there is a green carabiner on the starboard side, and then there is a red carabiner for the port side. And that is going to go to my starboard tree, and the red one's going to go to the port tree. And that'll set the orientation for the hammock, and then it's just a matter of running each guy line out into the ground and then tensioning it. So I'm going to get this set up and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so here we have the Shoal 10 tarp pitch, and you guys can see it's kind of a bat wing style formation. Where the hammock is hanging this way head to toe that's where you're getting most of the length is out from the front and out the back and then we have these wings that go off to the sides creating a little bit of cover for the sides as well coming over to the side of the amok you guys can get a better picture of the tarp layout so like i was saying more length out the front more length out the rear in the center and then it goes wide kind of like a bat wing style here you guys can see the, the reason why the tarp is shaped that way is because we're laying this way. We need foot coverage and we need head coverage. So this offers a lot of coverage from overhead. However, there's not a lot of side coverage. So if you are in an area that you require side coverage, I recommend using a 10 by 13 tarp 
running 13 feet this way and pitch it open and then drop the corners down to create kind of a partial door system. However, you're hung up high in the tarp, it really shouldn't be too much of a problem. In the rain, I find I stay quite dry. I have not tested this yet in the snow. However, I'm very excited to use this in the winter time. Down here at the foot end of the tarp, it is clearly marked with two feet. So you know this is the foot end of the tarp and the foot end of the hammock area. We can see this little Velcro binding material, so that helps keep the guy line neat and secure. We then have a reinforced circle, so you can pin this with a ground stake to the ground or possibly hang a water bottle underneath of there if you did want to utilize that. And then here we have this unique adjuster. It's a flat adjuster with a moving bar inside of it, which means it has to literally go upside down to release the pressure. However, when you torque down on it, it holds pressure very nicely and making this very easy to adjust the tarp's tension. We do have some nice graphics on the corner of the tarp with the Amok name, Stay Wild, and the branding over here, kind of ghosted in, making it very nice and staying true to the camouflage pattern. The center seam, as mentioned earlier, is not seam sealed. So, however, it does include a tube of sealant that you can brush on just like I have, making this 100% waterproof. Okay guys, so now for probably one of my favorite features about this hammock is we have a built-in clip on this strap over here. Now you guys remember the stuff sack to the Amok. Well, that has a built-in clip. And the reason why this is one of my favorite features is it simply clicks right into the hammock just like that. And when you're in the hammock, nothing falls in and out while you're getting in and out. So what I like to do with this is I'll store my snacks, I'll store my clothing, I'll store whatever I need to store inside of this bag and cinch it shut and when you get weight inside of the hammock this just hangs up on the sidewall keeping all of your gear nice neat and organized all right so stepping outside looking at the amok with the bug net totally zipped up you guys can see this waterproof reinforced foot box area we do have a two-way zipper so you can zip it up way partial or down we also have another zipper on this side so once you are totally zipped up if for any reason you need to reach in and out you can just unzip and gain access to the outside very easily. This is often what I like to do is zip it down on the foot end and then if I need to enter and exit I can get in through here and then reach down and zip this guy up leaving the whole bug net totally zipped up. All right guys well there you have it this is the Amok Drummer 5.0 with the pad and the tarp. This is an excellent hammock system by far my favorite flat lay chair mode we got the tarp all kinds of features packed inside of this hammock if you guys are interested in this i'd say two thumbs up go ahead and do it this is by far my favorite and if you do happen to get one get it in the camouflage it is absolutely awesome for stealth camping so that is all that i have for the review if you guys have any questions or comments please drop it down in the comment section and i'll get back to you that is it guys so peace out and i'll see you in the next video